been thinking a lot and again this is something that probably should be wasting my time in thinking about right but i've been thinking a lot about what's happening with these non-mask wearing people right the ones that are like stringently against it the ones that have like a very um set position when it comes to wearing of the mask in public they're just like no it doesn't make any difference it's not doing anything this is group think i will not be a sheep my rights my rights blah 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 just thinking what is the end goal right what is the end goal in, in in mind and what needs to happen in their lives for them to suddenly get on board now no one's wishing Ill, Ill health for anyone you don't want someone to have to go through you know losing a, a loved one a family member having them be in a coma just so they can understand that wearing the face mask is maybe a good thing but I wonder what would have to happen apart from that that would make them go hey you know what maybe I was wrong because I think a lot of them especially at the ones that I've seen there's a lot of like you know what the quintessential Karen right there's sort of like stay at home mom who probably doesn't or maybe the retiree right maybe the a partner has made it or they've made a bit of a nest egg they made a bit of a you know they made some cash they've got something to sit on the kids have all flown the nest they've all got married and hooked up so there's nothing really you're not really expensing on anything so you just you know you just live your life on facebook you, you you plant your flowers in your garden you just keep it moving but then you might end up in some weird, you know, how Facebook is. You kind of start clicking, you add another refrain request, you go into some page, some group, and then suddenly you're in this place where you're thinking, okay, this is weird, right? And then suddenly your mind starts changing, your opinions start to get a bit skewed. It can go down a bit of a rabbit hole. But usually that's the archetype of the person, the person that kind of doesn't necessarily have anything invested in the outside world, like they don't have any real skin in the game right they're not working somewhere where their business could get impacted by the rapid spread and acceleration and you know if we don't get covid under control globally it could affect their work so they're not bothered about it and they just generally just have money so they just don't give a shit right that could be part of it um and this is a really good example of it this is a video of this woman who supposedly is a life coach right it's one of those um i'm, I'm assuming inspirational what mum influencers right the kind of mum's net sort of person she gets on i'm assuming this was facebook and the blows this tire i'm not gonna play the whole thing but she essentially talks about the things that I, she essentially gives her a reason as to why she's not wearing a mask in a particular establishment so let's have a listen and hear what the rationale what goes on for these people's head to make them think wearing a mask is not a good idea y'all i am so done i'm so reeling right now from going into Walmart and getting my groceries and uh, okay so here's the deal she's angry I rendered onto Caesar what is Caesar all right mm -hmm. I am being quote. an obedient citizen and I am obeying my local ordinance and I am wearing this mask even though you guys know how I feel about it you know where my stance is being indoctrinated to do anyway and I'm not going down that road Thank I'm going you. to get all this hate and I get it. Hate me all you want. I don't care. So here I am wearing my mask, right? Wearing my mask like this in the okay. produce aisle, okay. getting my kale, getting my spinach, getting my apples, okay. getting my carrots, okay. getting my broccoli. Okay. Like this. Okay. Yeah. Like this. Okay. Pulling it down to freaking breathe because these things, it's like. Okay. There's your first problem. And I, I, I like how this is essentially like a visual representation of what happens when you see those videos online where it seems as if somebody's been wronged, right? It seems like, oh, this police officer's punched this girl in the face or this kid, this guy has pushed the kid into the street. It always starts off to, it always starts off at, at, at a point to make the aggressor look like, you know, like a sensible person. No, it makes the aggressor look completely like a psychopath, right? Right. And this is the kind of visual representation of it. This lady started off the story saying, you know, she kind of gave us the impression that she had a mask on and suddenly in the produce dial, some, some sort of, uh, what do you call it? Some um, Gestapo agent of the mask society rolled up to her and told her to pull her top bit up over her nose or was really picky about it, the way it looped around her ear. No, no one did that. She didn't have her mask on properly in the food produce aisle, right? Which happens to be the place where everything is sort of like out of its packet or it's raw, it's in little boxes and stuff. You just maybe grab it with your hands or with a little plastic bag. So, you know, it's prime, it's a prime place for someone to sort of like go and spread, you know, a, a respiratory disease or a virus would probably spread a lot easier, I reckon, right? On the surface of fruit and vegetables and stuff. 
So it, it would go without saying that a sh you know, shop assistant might come up to you and say, eh, Madam, 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 do you mind, see that mask you, you had on before you walked in? Do you mind putting it on whilst you're inside, please? Yeah, yeah, please, thanks. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with that? That's the issue. And again, the first bit, right? The, the start of the video, she's like, oh, I've got all these views about, you know, wearing a mask. I think it's indoctrination. She doesn't want to be a sheep. She has, you know, if you give this right away, the government's going to take away every other right you got. Cool, whatever. We don't care. File that into your into your drawer full of opinions. Lock it with a key. Get that key for out of the window. We don't give crap, right? We're at a stage now in the world where you just want to get this thing over so everyone can get back to doing what they want to do, right? Whether it's sunbathing in some decrepit beach somewhere, buying way too much eyeliner, or, you know, just hanging out with your daughters way too long after midnight. Whatever you like to do, just we, we, everyone wants to get back to doing that. We don't care about your personal opinion anymore. So just file it and just wear it. But she didn't even wear it. And now she's going to turn into this, because imagine this video is what, I've only played you a minute and a bit, right? A minute so far, bang on. It's already, it's going to, it's another six and a half minutes of this lady, what? Trying to explain why her um, reaction or upsetness or the reason why she left her shopping behind was justified because someone told her to put on a mask that she was already wearing, but she took it off because she couldn't breathe. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? You, you, she gave us, she's sort of like, you know, signaling that she's healthy. She's buying kale and carrots and apples and stuff, right? Um, but then she has no ability to breathe for what? With some sort of constraint over her mouth for the for the period of five to ten minutes. Come on, woman. Builds more bacteria. Pulling it down so I can breathe, right? Woman comes around the corner with the mask on, yelling at me that I'm not wearing my mask. Yelling, yelling at me. Really? Yelling? That I'm not wearing my mask i pulled it down to breathe meanwhile i just said i gotcha i was nice i handled it in a loving way i was like gotcha meanwhile look in her cart no kidding uh the, that big old plastic bucket of cheese puffs jimmy dean sausage lunchables for all the kids frozen meals instant mashed potatoes what else was in there Oh, all the hostess, all the ding dongs. She's so a lot of stuff. All the, it? all the, I don't even know the no, names. No, Zisosa. I just like so. saying ding dongs. All the ding dongs. Oh, ho hos, ho hos. That's fun to say too. Those are in there too. She had all the instant meals. She had those things of instant macaroni and cheese that all you had to do is pour hot water in. Okay. And we'll leave it there because you know we know if she's getting that. But it's just you know again you're the one at fault here. You're at fault. But then somehow, because, of, uh, and again, I'm not I'm not really a fan of going up to strangers and telling them to put a mask on. I'm not a fan of going up to strangers and telling them anything apart from if you're going trying to trying to holler at somebody you want to hook up with. Do you know what I mean? You shouldn't be walking up to strangers and talking to them. It's just weird, isn't it? Just leave people alone. Um, if you want to hook up with somebody and you want to attempt to get to know them, you have the you it's, you have the right to say whatever you want. And they also have the right to say whatever they want back to you, right? So you're playing with fire. But just don't walk up to strangers and be like, hey, put on a mask or can you tell your kid to calm down? Like some people are just, they're just too brave socially. There's no, and again, this lady definitely looks like she didn't get punched in the face ever in her life, right? So this idea that it's a it's a fair exchange is just weird. This idea that you should stand there and then because you're in the wrong and someone called you up on it, you get embarrassed and then you then start to judge or, you know, give them mean eyes because they decided to get a pack of flipping penguins for their kids for lunch or whatever. I, I don't know. Please forgive me. That lady might be in financial difficulties. She might be in a position where she can't necessarily give her kids the healthy food. She doesn't might not have the education. Well, there could be a plethora of reasons behind it. But this is not the time. That's and that's the issue I have with all this stuff. We're so as a world. This is just America, but I think globally we're so divided with this issue. When it should be a time where we should be collectively coming around. We should collect. We should. We should be collectively joining up. Right underneath a banner of humanity, underneath a banner, underneath some sort of banner of like the downtrodden or the have-nots or something, trying to fight against the haves. We shouldn't be bickering amongst ourselves about, you know, somebody embarrassing you a little bit or you feeling a little bit childish because you haven't got your mask on in the fresh produce aisle. Imagine where everything's open anyway. If ever there's a place where you can't get your breath, it'll be there. Come on. Just be reasonable, and that's the thing. I, and I just, I just wonder where, when are we going to get back to being just a reasonable world again? 
where people can just have disagreements and just you know whatever keep it moving just be adults about it and not turn everything into some sort of faux what motivational post to fight your side and to get people on your side to get the it's just bizarre and these are adults too it's a thing as well it's adults just imagine what her daughters and children are doing or daughters or sons are doing or nieces and nephews must be thinking watching that video it's so embarrassing grow up man grow the hell up <laughs>